Well, regular, regular viewers of Morning Live, we're going to recognize our next guest as one of our fabulous style experts. But today, Erin Nadler is going to join us to talk about a rare genetic disorder. Good morning. Good morning. Right. And you didn't even know probably about the name of this disorder until that precious gift arrived. Her name is Madeline and she's on your lap right now. Yeah, this is Maddie. Uh, no, we had no idea. I mean, there's literally seven people in the world. This is one of them. Her father is one of the others. We had no idea that he even had uh, and carried this gene. And normally this particular gene actually doesn't even cause disease. So um, it was totally unknown to sick kids docs. Um, and in, after two weeks of being home, uh, I noticed something was going on. And my mother's intuition clicked in. We ran down to sick kids. Uh, we spent three months there. And after seven months, we got a needle in a haystack diagnosis um, of a gene called SYK. And um, that's kind of where our journey started because when you have a when you have a genetic disorder that is so unknown, um, you know, the fact that we even got a diagnosis is really uh, unbelievable. But Madeline had been quite unwell um, for a very long time. You know, it started with a rash and um, some bowel movement problems and um, massive amount of inflammation. So we um, were very lucky to have this diagnosis, even right. though it is incredibly rare. Right, right. And and then the fact that your husband didn't even know until after he was tested afterwards, right? Right. So when uh, the genetic sequences are run, they take blood from both parents, myself um, and my husband. Um, we knew that as a baby, he was very sick in the hospital, but at eight months, he just kind of woke up and was fine. He carried on his with his life. He had a few symptoms, but no one ever really knew what it was. Um, when that sort of uh, information was presented to Dr. Alex Muse, um, who is a gastroenterologist at SickKids and um, wow. is also a scientist, and he's the one that actually found the gene, um, they stopped looking at me and they started looking at the two of them. And because what normally happens is you look to see the genes that they know normally cause disease, um, none of those showed up. So then it was like combing through the two of them to see what really was active and what was going on. So wow. not only did we get a diagnosis for Madeline, but we also got one for my husband, Glenn, and now he is being treated as well. Right. So what does this disorder, what does it do to your body? So basically, um, from what we know from other people, it causes all kinds of different issues. But for Madeline, it caused a massive amount of inflammation in her body. Um, so everything was just kind of turned on. That's the best way I can explain mm -hmm. it. Um, you know, she was just always inflamed, always uncomfortable. Um, and with that, it turned into a lot of GI symptoms. So a lot of bowel movement problems, um, ulcerative colitis for her, um, rashes, fevers. Um, it presented in lots of different ways. And we tried all kinds of different meds. Um, and we actually found a very successful one um, in the new year. But doctors were concerned that this would be a short-term fix. And so in April of this year, we went forward with a bone marrow transplant for Madeline. Um, and we were unbelievably lucky to have a match. And she is now, um, you know, just over 100 days post bone marrow transplant. We're hoping that this is going to give her a long-term uh, fix and really be a life without um, any sort of medications for right, her. Right, right. And it's, it's just amazing, and I know you've you've been posting lots about it, and, and we'll get the, the, the links up on our website, chch.com, because we're almost out of time here. But, like, I, I cannot imagine the frustration it must have been, like, just with a rare disease like that, and just how how well you've you've kind of pulled through or, or presented. Oh, thank I, you. I'm sure there have been dark <laughs> moments. But but thank you for sharing your story, Erin, and, uh, and for sharing Madeline's story as well. And best of health to both of you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.